I've been always wondering how it would feel to use a tablet as a hybrid tool, meaning using it as both a tablet and a laptop. So what I did was that for an entire week, I only used the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, not only as a tablet, but also as a laptop replacement. This meant I wasn't allowed to use my PC or another laptop for working with documents, using spreadsheets, browsing the web, uh, watching content, uh, you know, using YouTube Studio, playing games, doing multitasking, you get the idea. The only exception I set for myself here was to edit the edit and upload videos uh, using an actual computer, and that was it. So obviously for this to work, meaning to be able to use your tablet as a laptop replacement, there is an essential item that you need to have, and that's a keyboard. Otherwise, there is no point in trying. Your tablet will always remain a tablet. So what I have is a Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra uh, book cover keyboard, and it's a two-piece accessory. And what I love about it is that if you want to use the tablet as a tablet, you can very easily detach the keyboard uh, without having to remove the upper piece, uh, which has the kickstand and houses the S Pen inside and also reduces the weight significantly if you remove the keyboard, uh, you know, for holding it as a tablet. And once you're done, you can actually just snap it back in place very easily. But obviously, if you want, uh, you can use any type of uh, Bluetooth keyboard you have available so that maybe you could just buy a stand or a cover with a kickstand, especially for content consumption. There is one more essential thing uh, for this to work, and that's the Samsung DeX. So I know some people who use a keyboard with their tablets and they never use a DeX. Now, if you're always doing only one thing at a time, then it's totally fine. In fact, you might use less battery if you don't switch to the DeX mode. That's very likely. However, in my opinion, you're missing out a lot, uh, you know, at a real laptop-like experience. So you're always limited to have only a couple of things open at the same time and your multitasking experience wouldn't really be multitasking if you didn't enable the DEX mode. All it takes is a press of a button. One thing I completely forgot for the first couple of days, which otherwise would have made me even more productive, was that this is still a tablet and sometimes tapping on the screen to do something or moving something around uh, is much faster. It's just something I've come to appreciate. Just think about having a laptop uh, with the touch screen it's so much uh, cooler and helps out with a bunch of stuff uh, i know some laptops do have a touch screen but most don't so this was my first lesson just use the touch screen whenever you need it lesson number two while the magnetic connection of the keyboard is very strong when you need to move around always close the keyboard book cover or you might drop the keyboard just like i did uh, or the other option is to just pick up the tablet itself while letting the keyboard hang, although it's much safer to close the whole thing. There are of course things that you can't really do on a tablet or at least do them properly or efficiently. For example, video editing. The good news is that this is also changing and I'm pretty sure in just a few years, if not sooner, uh, we'll have a totally different experience than now when it comes to editing videos. Apple is ahead of Android in this area, but with LumaFusion uh, coming to Android, hopefully already this year, later this year, the gap between the two will be much narrower, so that's why I chose not to even try out editing videos on this tablet because I know how that goes. Anyways, I very soon realized using a tablet as a laptop replacement can get really boring. I mean, it just feels like there isn't much to do. Not only that, everything feels slower than using a laptop, even something as simple as browsing the web. You know, on a laptop, you can have a ton of things open at the same time. Minimize the apps and windows and you'll know what is minimized. Uh, you can install ex extensions on your favorite browser and so on. One of those things affecting my experience was the fact that, first of all, the keyboard itself is just not as good as any other decent laptops. And because it's very thin, the surface that you put the tablet on has to be flat or you might feel it bend slightly and it might even trigger an audible click on the trackpad if the pressure is uneven. So that's kind of a bummer that you can't really use this on your lap properly just like a normal laptop. Uh, but the trackpad is also not that good. I mean, it just feels sluggish. Uh, and even though you can adjust the speed of the trackpad, which is what I did, it still doesn't feel like an experience I'd have with a proper laptop. Uh, but why am I telling you all this about the keyboard? That's because, like I said, the, this is an integral part of the experience. It's not just the software experience, the hardware is key as well. So what do you say we give it a score out of one to 10, 10 being a true laptop experience? Let's do that. I'll do that by the end of this video. All right, just to finish my thoughts on the keyboard, I think you'll get lots of benefits from a mouse, but since this is supposed to be a laptop replacement experiment, and we usually don't carry around a mouse uh, with a laptop, I didn't really include it. 
in my test except at the very end and I really saw a big difference. Not only is the trackpad not nearly as responsive as a mouse or even any other decent laptops out there and with a mouse you'll be able to scroll, select text and browse around much faster uh, but also the trackpad sometimes out of nowhere freezes for a while which hopefully won't happen to an external Bluetooth mouse. So one of the things we all do when working with a laptop is resizing windows. You know it could be a browser or an app and with Samsung Dex, every time you re resize an app, like the browser, it'll refresh. So that means that if you're in the middle of some work that needs to be saved or submitted, then you might lose that data. And that's exactly what happened to me uh, when I was replying to some comments and then I just wanted to maximize the window and suddenly I had to type my response again, all because I didn't submit it before resizing the YouTube Studio app. Another thing is that just like the regular tablet mode, when you take a screenshot, things stop working or they freeze for a few seconds until the notification of the taken screenshot goes away. So here you can see me typing something and then accidentally pressing the screenshot button only to see it interrupt my uh, work by freezing the screen. All right, so on a daily basis, most of us probably use our browsers more than anything. And having worked with this device as a laptop for one week, I concluded that pretty much for everything I'm better off with a desktop mode. All right, so if you didn't know, whenever you use the browser on your phone or tablet, you have the option to switch to the desktop mode, which means that you'd be, you'd be seeing whatever website you're looking at as if you were using a desktop or laptop, which means the viewing experience might get worse, but in some cases it actually helps. As an example, uh, there is this annoying limitation on the YouTube app on this tablet where I can't write any posts in the community section, uh, which I can do on the phone. So I thought perhaps if I use the browser, then that'll solve the issue. So I logged in with my browser and this time the community tab was not even there. So as a last resort, I went to the browser's menu and selected the desktop site. And this finally fixed the issue for me. Uh, but I'm sure that you'll agree with me that this is just too much hassle. The next bit that I had to figure out was whether the Android file manager was ever as good or even better than Windows or iOS. And it was very easy to answer this question. For the most part, the day-to-day -day stuff like copying or moving things around are quite all right to do with the file manager. However, neither the Android operating system nor the One UI 4 of the Samsung uh, were designed to do desktop-like tasks, for example, dragging and dropping uh, files from one file manager window to another. That's just not possible. There are, of course, other file managers you can download, but for the purpose of this experiment, I didn't. And to be honest, uh, they're more or less the same. So I'm 60% sure this will change in the future and we'll see a more desktop-like uh, file manager on devices like this. So the conclusion here is that the file manager on this device does the job, but it's far from a laptop-like experience. But guys, let's not forget about gaming. As far as mobile games, I think it's obvious that you're not expected to have a keyboard and a mouse uh, to play games. But if you want to play emulated games or do cloud gaming, then that's where these peripherals might help, especially if those games are action games, uh, then even a controller of any kind would be a better option than say this keyboard. Uh, and you definitely don't want to play these games on the DeX mode. Not only will most games not have a good window size if you don't want to play them in full screen, but also it might affect the performance and battery life. Unless again, your goal is multitasking. For example, you might want to be able to have uh, some kind of live feed on one side of the screen if you would like to see a more detailed video about gaming on this specific tablet, let me know in the comments. All right, so what's my final verdict? I think tablets have come a long way and they've come really close to becoming hybrid tools. So they're almost there. I think they're this close to it. What they've managed to do well though, at least some brands, is becoming a companion to another device, be it a laptop or PC or even your phone. And you can manage quite a lot as, as a laptop replacement device. For example, I had absolutely no problem working with documents or spreadsheets, uh, but it's much easier to just use cloud services like Google Docs or Microsoft 365 than working with different uh, documents locally and having to deal with the file manager. But again, not all apps have the right size or ratio. Fortunately though, you can also use the browser as an alternative for many of these apps, but still putting it down on my lap wasn't really that comfortable. And that's because of the kickstand. Whereas with a the laptop, there is no such thing as a kickstand. And lastly, the battery life with the DeX mode is definitely not that impressive. I think what tablets are still really great at is being a tablet. And I think at the end of the day, perhaps my biggest complaints are that 
First of all, there's a lack of speed and agility in the Tablet State Ultra, uh, especially in the Dex mode. Whether it's the keyboard not working for a few seconds or the device getting hot and the apps close uh, when you're multitasking in the Dex mode, especially if you're sitting in direct sunlight, which is what happened to me, or if you're taking any screenshots only to see it interrupt your work for a couple of seconds. So I think my final score is seven out of 10 for a true laptop-like experience. If you have this tablet or if you're planning to buy it, make sure you watch my tips and tricks video uh, to learn how to hide the notch and other cool things. All right, thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you in the next one.